welcome everyone back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Let's go ahead and listen to some Donny Hathaway, huh? So today we're going to listen to the track You Were Meant For Me from Donny Hathaway. This is David Oliveris. This is your favorite song that you suggested to me. So thank you so much for the recommendation. Now, I, the name Donny Hathaway, I looked him up really quick because I had to pull up the information for him. And his name didn't look familiar. But when I pulled up his his like music and everything, if this is the song I'm thinking of, hold on. I think I know at least one song from him. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, in some capacity, I know because that song is 100% a certified classic. That's a perfect track. The closer I get to you, oh, the closer I get to you. Dun, 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 dun. The more you make me feel. Come, right. and, then, and then he comes in over and over again. I keep telling myself. All right, that's, that's a good song. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's a classic song on its own, but the funniest slash best like version of that is Chris Tucker coming in on Rush Hour 3. Oh, it's such a good move, Jackie Chan. All right, anyways, <laughs> when, I, when I saw that song pop up, I said, ooh, my voice cracked, first of all. And then I said, ooh, I think I do have at least some sort of knowledge of Mr. Hathaway. So let's, uh, without further ado, go ahead and listen to the song. We'll talk about it after. Here we go. Loving you has made me feel so fine. I can see my friends That's turn green with envy. Every time I tell them, I'm so glad. No. 
Well, 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 well. David, I mean, that's your favorite song, and I, I see nothing wrong with that. That is an absolutely gorgeous three-minute, however many seconds, ballad of just soulful singing, beautiful little moments of sax, sexiness, the gorgeous arrangement of the strings. When they come in, at no point is it overpowering. This is a song of soulful subtlety, just constantly building and waves of ebb and flow of just romance, love, and feelings. That's all this is about. It's just whatever those those balls are in the ocean that bob up and down, you know, the things that I'm talking about. Like this is just a gentle bobbing up and down of soulful love. Donnie, great, great singing. Uh, can I can I tell you? I don't know how old he was during the recording of this because I actually don't have a lot of information uh, on this particular track. I, I couldn't really find much specifically about this one um so I, I can't speak of his age i mean i can say one thing because i'm looking at his wikipedia page really quick like i'm just trying to find information uh he died when he was 33 years old that is incredibly young um his voice though his voice has this how do i describe it he doesn't sound young even though clearly he is and was but he has this like just aged soulfully and graceful voice like you know sometimes you hear the phrase like you know someone's wise beyond their years i feel like his his delivery the way he's singing is beyond his years clearly uh when looking at you know when he when he passed i i just think that that's that's uh that's that oaken voice that rosewood voice it's strong like a tree it's rooted deep but there's love to it. There's life to it. Uh, that's really fantastic. The keyboard arrangements and the playing, I also loved how subtle those were. Bubbling with little bits of vibrancy among the arrangement once again. This this whole thing just feels like this colorful wind. And Donnie's just this this bird that's just singing to another bird. It's a, it's a love song. I just think that that absolutely sounds wonderful. And I really like how nothing in this track is, is overdramatic. When the saxophone comes in, it's subtle. It blows a few notes and then it quits. The drum pattern, it's subtle, it's quiet, but it does move. It, it does move. I like how there's a little bit of extra kick added in, I guess, maybe the second or third verse, maybe. Like, just a little bit. Just a little extra. But it's not quiet. It's not silent. It's not a silent partaker. It's active in the music and active in the message and everything is active. The bass playing was actually really, really great with the rhythm as well. Playing amongst this, this sea of ambience from the keys. That's good. Let's look at these lyrics though. You were meant for me. No one else could come between this love, I know. Because I'll never let you go. You and me, it seems, never have a problem we can't overcome. Because you'll always be the one. Never thought I'd be so happy. Loving you has made me feel so fine. I can see my friends turn green with envy every time I tell them I'm so glad you're mine. Never did one thing to hurt me. You always understood my ways. If I could, I'd stay right here beside you with your hand in mine, making love for days. That's that's all this song comes down to. Just a an ever passionate love song of Donnie declaring his love to whoever uh, whoever this was. That's a great track. That's a really good favorite song. Uh, David, thank you so much for the suggestion. Thank you for uh, for bringing that over to us. Hope that everyone else enjoyed it as well. Of course, you can let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Follow me over on Twitter, support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for being here. Come back tomorrow, and I will see you later. And uh, is it? The closer I get to you.